Hi guys, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do the space section. So I have my requirement sheet for the Elements of Art project and it says number five, space. Create perspective by placing at least one object in the foreground, middle ground, and background and color. So in order for us to know what that is, we have to look at the definitions. So this right here, this is the Elements of Art vocabulary list. I know it's really long, but this project covers so many um, vocabulary words that it's just, well, it's long. So number 11 says perspective. So perspective is the representation of objects in three-dimensional space. So think about it. When you are um, at the end of a long hallway, you look smaller, but we know that you're not smaller as you walk closer to the person at the beginning of the hallway, you appear to get bigger. But you're not changing actual size, it's just the perspective that is changing. So in drawing, we have to make sure that if we want it to look realistic, we draw it in what's called perspective. So we can classify um, different areas of space into the foreground, middle ground, and background of an artwork. So a foreground is the space in an artwork that is closest to the viewer, so closest to you. The middle ground is the middle space in an artwork, and the background is the part of an artwork that appears the furthest away from the viewer. So let's look at this in my project, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so when I did my original one, what I did was this is considered the foreground. It's closest to me, which is this dock. Then the middle ground is supposed to be the palm trees and the little island here. Then the background is supposed to be these little uh, like trees slash mountains. That is the background. And the sky could be considered the background too. So foreground, middle ground, and background. So on our project, or not our, my project that I have going here, I'm going to go to the space section. Make sure it doesn't say shape because people get space and shape kind of mixed up. And since I'm doing this sort of food theme, I'm going to pick uh, something like that. So let's say that I am drawing a piece of pie. So my piece of pie that is closest to me, or let's do cheesecake. I like cheesecake better. This is my piece of cheesecake, and it's bigger. It's on like a plate, okay? It's bigger because it's closest to me. Then over here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a couple pieces of cheesecake that are a little smaller. So some really funny looking plates here. All right, then I could make another one in the middle ground. This is considered the middle ground. And you could make yours realistic like I was doing, or you could make it um, more abstract. And then in the background here, I'm going to put a little piece of pie. This reminds me of a Wayne Tebow artwork. Wayne Tebow is a really cool artist. All right, so here's my part. I could even say that this was the background up here. So whatever I want to do in that background, maybe I make a design, maybe I do something else. Okay, so that would be foreground middle ground and background. It gets smaller as it goes back. Then I would want to add details. So let's say, um, you know, if I wanted to add, um, I don't know if they really put icing on cheesecake. They put like fruit and stuff like that. So I could pretend like this was some sort of fruit. Um, I can make like caramel or something on the top of it coming down the side, the drip. People always love the drip for whatever reason. Okay. So now, once I'm done, it says color. So I'll take my colored pencils, I'll add some color to it. Um, if you want to Sharpie it, you can. I would be careful with your, if you have only a big Sharpie, just doing big Sharpie on this. Um, you can see some of my pencil graphite is smearing a little bit. So I might wanna lighten this up with an eraser before I do it. I have sometimes black pens that work also. So if you want to use a black pen to outline it with really small stuff, you can do that and that's fine. But it needs to be colored and outlining it if it needs it. If you have questions about the space section, please let me know.